In this video I'm going to show you what you get in a Spacebox 4096 Spacebox pack. And uh, when you load it into Unity, uh, you'll have uh, the main textures and materials will be located in, in a subfolder and uh, you'll find HD and ST textures. HD are uh, consists out of six separate images back down front left right and up textures and these materials uh, have already pre-configured all the various images correctly so in order to use uh, spacebox HD which is the highest possible resolution ones you'll just uh, if you select main camera you go to component rendering skybox and this is the uh, Unity default skybox component. And then just drag one of the textures into the material. And then you're ready to go, basically, after that. What you might want to do is... Uh, uh, let's have a look. If I select... Uh, this is the Tubin space box. And what you'll see here is, by default, the texture have a max size of uh, 1024. If I go on maximum on play... You'll see the quality is, uh, this is what you get when you have uh, 6 1024 by 1024 textures. If you want to increase the uh, quality, you can uh, increase the max size of these textures. So if I highlight all of these and go up to 1496 and click apply. It'll take some time for Unity to convert these into high resolution images. But then uh, you'll be able to see that once it, it's finished, It'll uh, greatly increase the quality of the, the space box, but it will also use more memory and your video memory and the distributable size of your game will increase as well. So whatever suits your need, I suggest you pick that one. There's one in between as well, which is the max size is uh, 2048. So have a go and play around with what suits you. As you can see, the uh, quality of the stars just increased. And again, if I go on to high resolution you'll see again much more detail in this particular image and I've also included in the demo folder some scripts there's here's the default mouse look script from unity if you drag it onto the main camera you'll be able to look around in your space box and uh, worth mentioning also is that the detail of the stars is quite quite good at the moment but uh, if you have really smooth panning uh, you might see flickering of the stars, and that's because uh, by default the MIP maps are disabled. As you can see, I still have the texture selected here, and under Advanced, this button for Generate MIP Maps is um, not ticked, which it is usually by default in Unity. And if you enable this, it'll use 25% more video memory, and it'll generate different resolution um, versions of this particular image. So, when uh, uh, it'll look a lot better through smooth panning, but you'll lose some details in the stars, so that's worth knowing. And uh, what you can also do is I've included some uh, uh, some space effects for you to use. If you go into the prefab folder, you can enable space fog and space particles. So just uh, drop them under the main camera. And then we can also add space box movement script to the main camera itself which allows you to use the arrow keys to move around in the space box. And by default, when you pr press play now, and if I move using the arrow keys, you'll see that the particle effects, you'll have some slight fog, really faint fog, and then some really small particles flying. And as you can see, you'll never move anywhere within this space box. That's going to remain always static, and that's the way the space box is designed to be. And you can increase if you scroll down of the space fog, for example, you can change the color to get more effect here. You'll see the space fog has got a little bit more depth to it and definition now. So that was the uh, a normal space box. If I reset this and do a new scene. Uh, I'll show you the single texture to to uh, preserve some video RAM and uh, also draw calls. You can use, if I go into the ST folder instead, there's uh, the same materials again, but uh, this time all the, uh, um, the textures are just one single texture instead. If I go into the same space box, you'll see that 
the six sides are actually embedded into this particular texture. And if I go to the main camera, component, uh, let's see where it's added. There we go. Uh, under rendering, you go to Spacebox ST. And then you'll drag one of the materials into this folder or into this uh, parameter in the inspector. So we'll take the same one again. Chew in and drag it. And now you won't see anything here. It's because uh, Spacebox ST script will generate on runtime, it'll generate the uh, a custom uh, box around the camera itself that's repositioned. So if I press play, you'll see now that it's rendering this using a single draw call. And the detail is quite quite good still at 4096 by 4096. So this should be suitable for mobile devices that can support the textures of this resolution because um, you'll save both uh, distributable size for the mobile games and you'll also just to reduce to one single draw call. If I do the same for this one I'll go into the demo folder and I'll drag the Unity's mouse look script on. Can I have a look? We'll now be able to look around in the box and we can do the same here. We'll drag the space box movement and then the space fog and space particles parented to the camera. And this is now using a, uh, the uh, single texture. You see the draw calls have gone up to three and that's because the fog requires one draw call and the particles require also one draw call. And if we take away maximum on, maximize on play, the, uh, the mesh that's created around the uh, uh, camera itself if I go here You'll actually see that it's a really really tiny cube here. That's been generated around the camera and um, It's hidden from the hierarchy, so you won't be able to see it um, That's what the script does is hides it and it's keeping it really t tiny and it's using the uh, As you can see the spacebox ST uses a uh, custom shader and that shader renders in the background queue so it'll render this little tiny uh, space box before it renders anything else in your scene. So if we throw in an object quite far away here somewhere, let's have a look. Let's just add a cube. You'll see even if I reposition the cube to be in front of it, um, let's add light as well. And direction. There we go you'll see that the space box is rendering. It's a lot tinier, as you can see here, but it renders before it renders anything else in the scene, and that's why you still see all the objects. Fast movement. And you'll find in the manual that's included, you'll find first the note about default max size. If you don't think the texture looks the way you expect it to, uh, if it's too blurry, make sure to go to the textures and set the uh, uh, the max size appropriately to suit your needs and then basically what I've gone through in the video will be uh, repeated in this documentation for how to use the Spacebox HD, Spacebox uh, single texture and I'll have the notes about MIP maps that I've mentioned before in the image quality and the uh, step by steps how to go through using these. I should also mention that in the demo scenes I've actually pre-compiled so you'll have all the Spacebox HD and ST as demo scenes here, so you don't have to go through the steps that I went through if you don't want to. But uh, so that concludes this video, and I hope you enjoy space boxes from uh, just make some awesome space games. Now it would be great to see. <laughs>